Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be looking at Terraria's gamepad aiming issues. Uh, Terraria uses two types of cursor movement. One is this normal cursor, and the other is this smart cursor, which is just a radial where you point in the direction you want. I want to start with this smart cursor. So this smart cursor has an about 35% dead zone. You have to move the stick that far before the cursor starts moving. And it's square, so you have to move further in the diagonals before you start seeing anything happen. Now to start, 35% is a huge dead zone, and it's larger of the two the cursor movement methods. And this is the worst one to be larger, because this is what you'll be placing for blocks precisely as. And you can see just how much movement I can make without anything happening in the game. Square dead zones also have the side effect of restricting diagonal movement around the axes. So I can make these like colossal movements and nothing happens. It isn't until I break into these diagonal regions where you actually start seeing diagonals occur. So the majority of this active region of the stick doesn't create diagonal movement. So, this game has dead zone options, but these dead zone options just don't work. So, um, these are just a random value headed on, but even if I lower it to zero, it's still 35%. Moving on to the smart cursor, uh, this has the same exact issues, this is a smaller dead zone, so it's about 27%. As you can see, once I exit the square region, it actually starts registering. And the size doesn't matter too much for this type, just because most people will be pegging the stick and just relying on the direction. The main issue here are the directions, so these gaps still remain, and you can see you can make pretty noticeable directional changes, but you're st still locked to these cardinal directions. It isn't until you pass into these diagonal regions outside of the dead zone where you start seeing the diagonals appear. And of course the issue with this is that the diagonals are wrong, since if you want a subtle, subtle angle, you'd have to actually make a pretty noticeable one. So if a switch to a circular dead zone would make, make it so that if you wanted to access a subtle diagonal like this, you'd actually see subtle diagonal be applied. And so changing to a circular dead zone should allow that. Uh, as a solution for both these, uh, both this normal cursor and the smart cursor, is change to a circular dead zone with full diagonal movement. And having these dead zone options work because being able to play with a very small dead zone would make placing blocks much easier uh, digging past certain blocks and all that would just be quite a bit easier than it is now right now uh, using this specific cursor is very clunky and uncomfortable and this range here from 0 to 95 is a colossal range. This would fit everyone if it actually worked. So adding or fixing this on PC so that this actually changes the dead zone as well as adding a dead zone slider for consoles would uh, fix all these issues entirely. And we don't need two separate ones. Uh, this is for the square dead zone but if you use a circular one you can just have a single option. Uh, maybe the other slider could be turned into a sensitivity for this, so you could have control over that. Uh, it's not too big of a deal, but that'd be cool to have too. So, yeah, I mean, that about covers it. Uh, changing the dead zone into a circle with full diagonal movement, and making working dead zone options for PC, and adding dead zone options for console. That should make uh, these cursor methods feel radically better than they are currently. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll see this change at some point.